Face covers and masks are part of the new normal for your own protection and the safety of those that you love. So let's talk about them and having the right protection. Uh, joining me today is Dr. Mary Clifton, internal medicine doctor from New York City and a member of the Boomer Naturals Advisory Board. And thank you so much, doctor, for being here with us this morning. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, Ashley, for inviting me. Yeah, so tell me, what does a good and effective mask actually have? Well, it's recommended that you have uh, at least three layers of fabric. One layer of fabric, like a scarf or a bandana, may be better than nothing, but once the fabric gets moisturized with your breath, it's very easy for the virus to cross through one loosely woven layer. We've actually been able to swab the inside and find virus there. So having three layers of tightly woven fabric is very effective compared to one. And then having a built-in filter so that you get additional added perfection perfection <laughs> protection <laughs> is just a bonus <laughs> awesome yeah so that is something to keep in mind i know a lot of us are kind of going and grabbing anything that we can find around the house especially in the beginning stages of yeah. being at home and needing to protect ourselves because not all of us just had masks at home but oh no we know, of course not. I mean, I've been wearing a mask for 20 years on and off during my practice, and it never gets you know, comfortable or normal to wear, but it's really important for us to do because loud talking, coughing, or sneezing makes it very easy to transmit enough viral particles to make somebody sick in just a few minutes. And one good sneeze will make an entire room of people sick in just 12 minutes. Are just you because kidding? you're- Wow. You because you're breathing in somebody else's sneeze cloud and then it attaches to the back of your throat and that's how it happens. Okay, that is not something I want to think about, but it's something we need to take into consideration. Sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, really knowing about masks and how valuable they are and relearning all of this, uh, I don't think I'll go through another flu season for the rest of my life without, we're just too densely populated and I'm around so many people in the city that it's, uh, it's just not wise to give yourself those exposures. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, so what should the general public be careful about when they're thinking about actually purchasing or making their own face masks? Because like I said, we didn't have them at all to begin with. We were reaching for bandanas or cloths and making some. But now that we need to wear masks yeah. and think more long term, what do we need? Well, you want something that's really breathable and talkable and comfortable, so you w you'll wear it. You know, I like this mask because you just put the ear loop over one ear, it doesn't crush your hair. And then you can just put it over your uh, mouth and nose because your mouth and nose is where the virus comes into your body. Right, and you then, see a lot of people just covering their mouth, but you need to cover both. Yeah, but you'll still breathe it in through your nose and then you can still get sick. And you can get other people sick too if you're inhaling and exhaling through your nose. But you wanna make sure that it covers your face enough so that the face covering protects you. And then you can just check by if you breathe, you can see that I'm breathing through the filter rather than breathing through any gaps that are remaining on the side. And then after you're done, it's easy to just hand wash it with some soap and water and hang it to dry and then it's ready for the next time you're ready to go out. So I just keep a little stack by the door and then I always have one or two hanging from one of the handles on my kitchen cupboard drying for the next use. Yeah, and always good to keep those in your car because it, you, you know, it never fails. I think I'm just going to run somewhere. I'm not going to get out of the car or whatever. But then, you know, oh, I need to jump out and run into the store. But if you don't have a mask, you know, you may not do that. So it's always good to have them in different places, maybe in your purse or, or whatever. Um, They're inexpensive. So, kind of, so having a half a dozen isn't that unreasonable. Right. And so you kind of touched on this. There are there's a right way and a wrong way to wear the mask. And you kind of showed us just now that uh, yeah. you know, make sure you cover your nose and your mouth. Yeah. And the other thing I could suggest, you know, is that when you're in between places, like you're riding in your car. You can just put it under, you know, it'll dry it a little bit and that will help you to get the moisture off of it so that it's effective for you at your next stop. And then it's just easy to put back in place. And this will also, of course, you know, keep your hands off of your nose and mouth, which is really helpful in case you got some virus on your fingers and you don't aren't near a sink or you forgot your hand sanitizer. Yeah. <laughs> so so we've and then we've it's easy to move. We've heard of some people using like, uh, you know, with their homemade mask, making different filters. Are there things around your house that you can use as a filter? 
Yeah, this uh, some masks have built-in filters. This mask has a nano silver technology infused right in the inner layer, so it functions like a like a built-in filter. But you can also increase the effectiveness of a homemade mask if it has a little slit in it by putting a paper towel in there or a coffee filter. The shop filters that you might keep in your garage, those blue towels, mm -hmm. are also very effective filters. But you're going to be aware that you're breathing through a filter when you're breathing through a shop filter. Yeah, you know that it's it's tough to breathe through it. So I like uh, finding a mask that's breathable and talkable that you can uh, that you can feel as comfortable as possible in and we can all keep each other safe in the midst of this pandemic. And there's actually a special offer for our viewers. Tell me about that. Yeah, you should have a 20% off TV offer and uh, and you can apply that and get 20% off of your order. And also for every order that you put in, Boomer gives a free mask to uh, to somebody who needs it. We've given away 50,000 masks so far. So wow. I love this company for pivoting early to providing a high value product during this crisis and then for also being so generous. That is amazing. So you go to boomernaturals.com and the promo code is KTHV20 to get that 20% off. And Dr. Mary Clifton, internal medicine doctor, New York City, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy, busy day to talk to us about the importance of wearing a mask.